Hi, my name is Richard Capone and I'm the CEO of Let's Go Learn. And today, I'm going to help you choose an assessment when you're using Let's Go Learn's data-driven personalized learning system. So first, let me begin by just talking a little bit about testing. It's important when you test a student to find out what is the right level for instruction. And that's why I'm assuming you're coming to Let's Go Learn because we are a diagnostic assessment company. So we want to know where do we teach them so that when we do work with them, it's not too hard, it's not too easy, it's just at the right level. We call this finding the zone of proximal development, which means students can work independently. Um, if it's too hard, they need some help, or if it's really hard, they just can't even do it because it's just beyond their grasp. So that's the first part I want to explain. Now there are different types of tests, so I do need to explain just a couple minutes or one minute on different types of tests. Benchmark testing is a test that is around a student's grade level. So it really is going to tell you whether that student is above, at, or below grade level, but it doesn't really go very far below or doesn't go very far up above. Lexile or readability tests are really just looking at the reading level of a student and it doesn't really answer why a student may be struggling. A state test is a norm reference test which just gives you a percentage score so you know how the student is doing relative to others. Again, it doesn't inform instruction. A formative test does inform instruction but it tells you very specifically, I just taught somebody X, let me see if they learned X. So I just taught somebody decimal place value let me give them a short quiz to see if they learned it. Now, diagnostic tests are what you're probably interested in, and those are assessments that answer why is a student doing well or struggling, and usually they're multiple measured, they're more comprehensive, and they don't limit themselves by grade level. It's based on ability of the student. Okay? So that's where we're at. Let's Go Learn is uh, really a genuinely diagnostic assessment company. And let me talk about our assessments. So first of all, there's DORA. DORA has a K-12 range, which means its score goes from K to 12, and it's in reading. Adam has a K to 7 slash 8 range, right? DOMA pre-algebra has a range of about 4th grade to 8th grade, and DOMA algebra is really just covering algebra 1, which is around 8th and 9th grade. You take these assessments, and you have the data, and now you could use it to uh, know exactly how to, to teach a student, whether you're working with a student directly, or it could turn on automated courses called ELA Edge and Math Edge for students. Now, ELA Edge has a range of K to 6, instructional range, and then Math Edge has a range of K to 9. So again, if somebody is uh, beyond foundational reading in the case of ELA Edge, then they may not be assigned that course. Um, likewise, if someone is beyond foundational math and they're already working on Algebra 2 or Trigonometry, then Math Edge course would not be available or appropriate for them. Okay, let me talk a little bit more about these tests specifically. Again, when a case of reading, there is only one assessment. There's DORA. It's good for K-12 students. However, typically, in high school, you'd only assess maybe remedial students. Right? So someone is in ninth and above, it's only if they're struggling with reading would you test them in DORA. Otherwise, they're probably good in reading, foundational reading, and you wouldn't give it to them. Of course, students with IEPs at all ages or grade levels would be appropriate to get DORA. Now, ADAM. ADAM is our uh, foundational math assessment in mathematics. So students K7, K8 would use it. Generally speaking, students who are 8th to 12th grade who are remedial would, would still take Adam because it has a better diagnostic range. It could go down to K, which a lot of times remedial students in mathematics do need work at lower levels. And then of course students with IEPs would benefit from Adam. A DOMA pre-algebra would be for students who have a pretty good solid base, but maybe they're a little older, 8th grade to high school. Um, and they have some gaps that need to be filled. So in some sense, they're still a little remedial. So that'd be appropriate for a DOMA pre-algebra. But if you have a student who's an eighth grade above and you just know they really, really, really struggle in math and their gaps probably go below the fourth grade level, then you want to use Adam. The other thing you could use DOMA pre-algebra for is a, a quick screener. New students come to your school or you have someone who you have no idea and they're maybe eighth grade, seventh grade. You could quickly give them DOMA pre-algebra and if they are ready for Algebra 1, the test will take them 10, 15 minutes. Okay? And then you know, oh great, they have a solid foundation and it moves on. So it is a faster assessment if somebody has, has um, stronger skills. Um, hopefully that makes sense. All right, DOMA Algebra. DOMA Algebra really is just testing Algebra. So if no one has taken Algebra before, they're going to get a very low score. And it doesn't tell you anything about their foundational skills. So if you are questioning whether someone should take an Algebra course, you should give them DOMA pre-algebra first, see how they're doing, 
if the test is really, really fast and they get a score of, you know, uh, 12 to 14 out of it, out of 14 total, then they can go into Algebra 1. If not, then they should um, probably do the pre-algebra course and get some uh, remediation. All right, hopefully that helps. One more point I want to add here is here are some score ranges I just put up there. DORA has a score range of K to 12, but ELA Edge, which is our instructional product, is really only for K to 6 instructional range. Um, Adam has a score range of K to 7, but Math Edge, which it places into, has a range of K to 7 slash 8. Uh, DOMA Pre-Algebra has a score range of 4 to 8, uh, and then it places students into Math Edge lessons that range from 4 to 8. And finally, DOMA Algebra, it has a score range of 14 points, so it's a 0 out of 14 or 14 out of 14, so it gives you um, a, a raw score. And um, then basically it places students into Algebra 1 lessons within MathEdge. Okay, that's it. Good luck. Thank you very much.